On the grounds of a Prince George's school district site in Cheltenham, a team of Crossland High School students and teachers is building a house, a tiny house. This, this house will be fully electric, heat, we're foam spraying everything. This is, the electricity bill in this house will probably be $15 a month. The project began some three weeks ago when about 35 students and teachers picked up their tools and got to work. First, examining the plans. And that's basically what it's going to look like. Then, executing them. All right, that's in. I lay brick, I lay stone. Um, we're learning how to lay tile as well this year and pour concrete. When all is said and done, the tiny house will include a first floor with a kitchen, living space, dining area, and a loft. What are the dimensions? How big is it going to be? 24 by 8. Okay, and there's a second floor to this? The second floor is uh, just the bedding area. I, I think the eight, 8 by maybe 10 or 12, if that. We're going to lift this up just the way that it is. On this day, they worked on putting a wall in place. Oh, we can carry 10 of these. Come on. I like how hands-on it is. Uh, it's like, I like how more interactive is it, it is than regular classes. I'd be bored in other classes. I really like how I can really get my hands dirty and stuff. The students are part of the county's career technical training program. It is where they learn academic and technical skills. So I like to see the application of what our students are doing in the classroom and then they bring it out to the world so they can publicly show what they're doing in the building every day. As for the tiny house, the plan is to complete it in the spring and put it on the market for a buyer. This is a trial experiment but I believe it's going to blow up. In Cheltenham, Byron Scott, CTV News.